Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find area of a given region using double integration. So we have a very simple formula to find area. Area is equal to double integration dA over S. There is no any function, only dA. dA means either dx dy or dy dx. Okay. So the important thing is to find that region S. Let us find a region here. So what we have, S is bounded by y is equal to sin x. So we are familiar with the sine curve. Let me draw the sine curve. So sine curve starts at uh, 0, 0, getting. So it has value 1 at pi by 2, getting. And uh, yes, so sine will pass through this point. Since sine has value 1 at pi by 2 and it has value 0 at pi. So let me draw the sine curve. Sine curve will be like this, getting. So we can continue it further, but um, yes, I'm drawing up to this part only. It will be like this, okay. So next second curve, we have y is equal to cos x. So the value of cos at zero is one and at pi by two, it has value zero, okay. And at pi, again, it has value uh, minus one, right? So, yes, so let me draw the cos cosine curve. So it will be like this. It will be like this. So this is our sine curve y is equal to sine x and this is our cos cosine curve y is equal to cos x. Okay. So both curves intersect each other at this point. So you know that uh, very important thing that cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and sine pi by 4 is again 1 by root 2. That means cos and sine has the same value at pi by 4. So obviously the point of intersection is pi by 4. Okay, so this is a rough part. So at pi by 4 both have the same value. So both curves intersect each other at pi by 4. So what have they mentioned after that x varies from 0 to pi by 4. That means we have to take region for x varies from 0 to pi by 4 for this part only getting for this part. So that means region bounded by cosine curve, region bounded by sine curve and only for this part 0 to pi by 4. So obviously the this is a region of integration this is our region of integration so we have got a region of integration so we have a two options either we can consider this straight parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis for this part it is better to consider a straight parallel to y axis okay so let me draw a strip parallel to y axis here so let me mention consider a strip consider a strip parallel to parallel to y axis okay parallel to y axis so when we have a strip parallel to y axis we write y varies from y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to right so strip is bounded below okay so the funda is very simple bounded below bounded above left to right strip is bounded below by a part of sine curve so that's why y is equal to sine x strip is bounded above by a part of cosine curve so the, i should write y is equal to cos x and after that we have to find uh, the strip will move from left to right in left okay it will stop at this line which is a y axis whose equation is x is equal to zero and it will move up to this point where the value of x is pi by four so x varies from 0 to pi by 4 and they have also mentioned x varies from 0 to pi by 4. Let us find the area now we have got limits. So area is equal to double integration. I should write dy dx since our strip is parallel to y axis. What are the limits of y sin x to cos x getting and what are the limits of uh, x 0 to pi by 4. So inner integration with respect to y. So let us integrate. Integration of dy is y. Let me write here. So this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 4. I should write y only with limits sin x to cosine x, right? And dx. Let us put upper limit, lower limit 0 to pi by 4. I will put upper limit first cos x minus lower limit sin x dx. Let us solve it further, but uh, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it then we will go further. So let us simplify it further. Okay. So area is equal to area is equal to see integration. Integration of cos is sin x, you know, right? Minus integration of sin is minus cos minus minus plus cos x 0 to pi by 4. Let us put upper limit. So we will have sin pi by 4 
plus cos pi by 4 okay minus I will put 0 sin 0 0 cos 0 1 sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 minus 1 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 we will have 2 by root 2 minus 1 let me solve it further okay let me remove it it is not required now okay we have already used it so we will have more space to write here so therefore area is equal to 2 means you know root 2 into root 2 1 root 2 will get cancelled and we will have root 2 minus 1 okay so i should mention square unit since it is an area so this is required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye